very heavy 
biggest concealer I've ever used ever so I don't mind this one so much but it's got a nice undertone we're gonna work with her we're gonna really blend her out and use a little bit of product we'll get we'll make it work okay now here is the tea of the matter here <laughs> let's pick foundations foundations were hard because I have kind of like concealers I have tried and trues and I don't really fear outside of those I think you guys have seen that the Urban Decay the Charlotte Tilbury the um Rare Beauty and I'm missing one. Oh, and the Tommy, no, Tom Ford one. Those have been the favorites that I haven't really gone outside of recently. So picking foundations was tough because uh, I'm so picky about the formula. But I'm going to try out again the Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation. Mine is in, mine is in the shade very light cool 120 again i ordered these online i don't think i said that i ordered these online so i never got to look at them in the store so if the shade's not great that's why um i'm interested to try this formula out i think i might have tried it like once or twice i don't remember being blown away but we shall soon see <laughs> and then this is like this is like the holy, one of the holy grail makeup products to exist in the market still. It's the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation in the shade 12B Fair Beige. When I was going to pick a foundation, I was going to pick this one right off the go. I was going to be like, nope, this is it. I'll tell you why I didn't. I'm not a full coverage girl anymore. I don't do full coverage anymore. I used to do a thousand percent. Look at that pimple like a million percent coverage if I even look like I had skin on my face criminal <laughs> arrest me send me to prison to the morgue um however now I'm not that girl anymore I don't want that look but I still want to make it work so we're gonna make it work we're gonna get what we can get out of it and again if it doesn't work we know okay keep it for a special occasion or let's move it on that's the point of this. Okay, now. Powders. I got two. And I'll tell you why. This is the She Glam Insta Ready Face Under Eye Setting Powder Duo. This is the under eye, like the pressed one. And then there is a loose powder version. <sighs> this stuff went viral. A little, like, I don't know last year or something. Um, I went and got it. I used it. Whatever. Um, I don't mind the pressed, but I'm kind of nervous to try the, the loose. So, as a backup, because this is a very white translucent powder, I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Now, before you ask, this is a jumbo one they released for a holiday collection, like, an eon ago. It is huge. Like, here's my face for reference. Massive powder. But this is a tried and true. I still, I say, like, this is a cult classic. I guess maybe not a tried and true because I have hardly ever used this powder. But I want to get into it, see if I like it or not. Let's try it and find out. Now we're into face products after powder. So for liquid blow, um, for liquid blow. We've got the She Glam Color Bloom Liquid Blush in the shade 101 Love Cake. These are those like stupid. 
use a lot uh, for, for YouTube, but I haven't used it since then, so that's fine. <laughs> Highlighter. Too Faced Diamond Fire Highlighter. These are so under-talked about, and I'm not even sure you can get them anymore. I have two. I have this one and the, like, pink one. This one has, like, um, lots of different reflex in it. You can't see it on camera very well, but it's, like, blue, purple, green, yellow. Kind of just, like, the rainbow in it. But it is so pretty, and it looks so good on the skin.
so if you only see this, like, you're like, well, you didn't use that much of it, bear with me, um, I will say what I will do at the end of the next video is I will show, I will talk, like, do a quick review, um, a recap of these, maybe, we'll see how this formula works, and then we'll do the next month, so, I'll probably do this, like, my birthday week, which is early in May, so we'll see, I don't know, we'll see what we got going. 